Is GPT-5 coming this summer? That's what one report suggests. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need to know. Yesterday, as all this crazy inflection stuff was happening, which of course will be the subject of our main episode today, some other folks were noticing an article from Business Insider that seemed to have a little bit more information about the potential launch of GPT-5. The piece was called OpenAI is expected to release a materially better GPT-5 for its chatbot mid-year. Business Insider source was two people familiar with the matter, and it seems like potentially it was some enterprise customers who have recently received demos of this latest model. They quoted one CEO who recently saw a version of GPT-5, quote, it's really good, like materially better. That CEO said that OpenAI had demonstrated the new model with use cases and data unique to his company. He said the company also alluded to other as-yet unreleased capabilities of the model, including the ability to call AI agents being developed by OpenAI to perform tasks autonomously. Another one of the folks who talked to Business Insider said that OpenAI is still actually training GPT-5, even though they're showing it off a little bit as well. Given that, there will be a process of safety testing internally as well as red teaming, and so because of that, any timeline could be subject to change. Ethan Mollick points out the stakes of this, not just for OpenAI, but for the field itself. He writes, We will learn a lot about the future of AI from how much GPT-5 beats GPT-4. Agents are an obvious use if it is much better. Now, some are skeptical with the report. The AI Safety Memes account tweets, Am I missing something or does GPT-5 this summer not make sense? One, why would they skip releasing a model called GPT-4.5? Two, if they haven't finished training GPT-5 yet, that would give them very little time to red team. They red teamed GPT-4 for six months. In my opinion, this is 4.5. We don't have any confirmed information from OpenAI, but the rumors from the rumor mill have been that they might be skipping 4.5 and going straight to 5, although ultimately we'll just have to wait and see. Next up today, we could be on the verge of seeing a new biggest investor in the world when it comes to artificial intelligence. According to the New York Times, Saudi Arabia is planning a $40 billion fund to invest in AI. The New York Times has three sources who have been briefed on the plans, and apparently the idea is a partnership between Saudi Arabia's public investment fund and Silicon Valley's Andreessen Horowitz. The Times notes that Saudi Arabia would be pursuing these goals through its sovereign wealth fund, which has more than $900 billion in assets. They also note that, quote, the $40 billion target would dwarf the typical amounts raised by U.S. venture capital firms and would be eclipsed only by SoftBank, the Japanese conglomerate that has long been the world's largest investor in startups. This is actually a very relevant point. One of the factors that has shaped the way that AI has played out is that traditional venture funds in Silicon Valley just haven't had enough capital to compete, at least in the foundation model space. There aren't funds, for example, that could put in $13 billion to open AI like Microsoft has done. This has created an opening for those big tech companies to have even more control over this new generation of technology, whereas previously that sort of investment would have come from a third party in venture capitalists. This is also not the first time we've seen AI companies turning to the Middle East for access to potentially huge amounts of capital. You'll remember those reports that Sam Altman was out seeking $7 trillion for a global network of chip manufacturers, and one of his stops in those conversations was the United Arab Emirates. The Times points out that as much money as Saudi Arabia has spent on tech, it hasn't necessarily been all that successful. They write, Saudi Arabia, which poured $3.5 billion into Uber in 2016, has largely struggled with technology investing. It handed $45 billion to SoftBank for the Japanese firm's $100 billion vision fund, which was channeled into dozens of enterprises including the now-bankrupt real estate firm WeWork and other failed startups, such as the robotic pizza-making company Zoom. Moving back to American markets for a moment, one of the big stories in tech generally, not just AI, is that Reddit is going public. According to the information, a big part of their push to investors is their ability to sell data to data-hungry AI companies. As evidence, of course, they point to their deal with Google, where they will give Google access to Reddit data for helping train Google models in exchange for around $66 million next year, according to the IPO filing that will likely amount to between 6 and 7% of Reddit's expected revenue. On the flip side, some in AI have been skeptical of the value of any one platform's data. When Sam Altman was asked about OpenAI's reliance on data from companies like the New York Times, which was suing them, he said, any one particular training source doesn't move the needle for us that much. Ali Golshan, the CEO of synthetic data provider Gretel, said that things are also changing because developers aren't really training LLMs from scratch anymore, instead building off of existing open source models like those available from Meta and Mistral. Still, Wall Street is very AI-hungry right now, so we'll have to see if the pitch actually works in practice. Finally today, there has been a lot of discussion recently on Twitter slash X around AI self-awareness and inner monologues, and according to a report in Live Science, A new study showed that giving AI systems an inner monologue made them better at reasoning. A group of researchers applied an approach that they called Quiet Star to the open-source Mistral 7b, and really what it was was a slightly different way to respond to prompts. 
The article reads, The method trains AI systems to think before they respond to prompts, just as many people consider what we should say before we speak. This is different from the way scientists have trained mainstay AI chatbots like ChatGPT, which don't think, quote-unquote, about what they write or anticipate different possibilities for the next steps in a conversation. Dubbed QuietStar, the new method instructs an AI system to generate many inner rationales in parallel before responding to a conversational prompt. When the AI answers prompts, it generates a mixture of these predictions with and without a rationale, printing the best answer, which can be verified by a human participant depending on the nature of the question. Finally, it learns by discarding rationales that proved incorrect. When it came to a reasoning test, the regular version of Mistral 7B scored 36.3%, while the QuietStar trained version scored 47.2%. Before training, the Mistral 7B scored 5.9% on a school math test, whereas after the QuietStar training, it scored a much better if still failing 10.9%. Seems to me quite likely to provoke much more studies like this, but for now, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. Next up, the main AI Breakdown.